Big Dipper has a very unique and ingenious haul-up mechanism which makes use of a single inline chain which is used twice on two separate lift hill sections. The chain mechanism is driven by a very large and powerful 600 volt electric motor which is housed in a dedicated building located at the bottom of the second lift hill. Shortly after departing the station, the train engages with the haul-up chain for the first time at the bottom of the first lift hill. This haul-up is relatively short and elevates the train to a level high enough to allow it to coast around a circular section of track which delivers the train to the bottom of the second lift hill. The train then re-engages with the same chain which itself has been fed through a series of drive wheels and is now running in the opposite direction. Once the chain has reached the top of the second lift hill, it returns back down the underside of the second lift hill until it reaches a certain point where it suddenly changes direction and drops down vertically inside a concealed casing at the back of the station eventually returning to where it started its journey at the bottom of the first lift hill. The click click clicking sound that you hear as the train is pulled up the lift hill is a special device known as a dog on the underside of the train as it engages with what is known as the dog rack this is part of the ride's anti-rollback mechanism which runs parallel with the lift hill chain and prevents the train from rolling back down the lift hill if the chain was to break. The braking system on the Big Dipper is manually operated and all except one of the brakes is controlled by the operator in the control box. The operator has three colour coded handles which are mechanically linked to brake actuators. The brake that is not manually operated is called the check brake and this is the first brake to be reached by a train as it approaches the station. The brake is controlled by a wooden handle next to the track which is set and locked into position at the start of each day. Environmental conditions determine the actual braking strength that is selected each day and this setting is then only adjusted if the speed of the trains reaching the station is deemed to be too high or too low. After being slowed by the check brake, the train reaches two separate sets of brakes under the control of the operator. The first of these is used to adjust the speed of the train as it approaches the station using the yellow handle and then the second is used to bring the train to a complete stop using the blue handle. When the train is clear of passengers, the operator is able to release the brake, allowing the train to steadily roll forwards into the station. The station brake is made up of two separate brake units, which are widely separated and are controlled by the white handle. To ensure that riders remain safely seated during the ride, all of the seats on Big Dipper's trains have lap bars fitted. These lap bars are locked into place using an electrically operated solenoid mechanism before the train is dispatched. When the train returns to the station at the end of the ride, the lap bars are released by the ride operator in the brake box using a 12 volt power supply, which is presented to the left hand side of the train. The transfer track is a special section of track located within the station. It is used to allow the ride operator to add or remove trains to or from the ride. On busy days the ride will operate a two train operation, but on quieter days one train will be left stored on the transfer track. 